Hello. OK, so when doing a problem like this, guys, exact same thing. You're going to have g of x equals x to the 1 half times x minus 1. Then we can go ahead and distribute, right? So basically, we have x to the 1 half times x to the first minus uh, you know, 1, or basically x to the 1 half times 1. So in this case, again, we're adding these. So in reality, that's again 2 over 2. So this is going to be x to the 3 halves minus x to the 1 half. Now when we go ahead and uh, simplify here, or I'm sorry, that's just g of x. Now when we go ahead and find the derivative, we're going to have 3 halves times x minus 2 over 2. Again, it's going to give us 1 half minus 1 half x to the negative 1 half. Now, Here's where I want to just kind of go through. Basically, guys, this is done, right? As far as finding the derivative, that is the correct answer. I will tell you guys on a lot of times you guys will see, for as far as answer choices go for multiple choice, you're not going to see this as the answer. You're not going to see this as the answer either. So what I did is I rewrote them as, instead of 1 half, I rewrote them as the square root. And then I put it like, you're not going to see that as an answer either. What you're going to see them as is com combining of uh, common denominators. So to get common denominators, you'd have to multiply by the square root of 2 over the square root of 2. And then the answer that you would see on a multiple choice test is going to be 3 square root of 2x minus 1 all over, oh wait, why am I multiplying by square root of 2? I was wondering about that. There we go, doesn't make any sense. So you're multiplying by the square root of x on the top and bottom, so square root of x times square root of x is just going to be x, so you'd be left with 3x minus 1 over 2 square root of x. That is what you'll see. So just make sure, algebraically, you guys can go from that to what I had on the board. Just make